Hello friends. In this video, I'm going to explain the divisibility rules. So in this divisibility rules, first of all, we see the divisibility by two. Divisibility by two. So if a number is divisible by two, if its unit is this, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. Okay. If any numbers unit is 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, then that number is divisible by 2. For example, 5, 6, 8, 9, 2. So this number is divisible by 2. Why? Because the unit digit of this number is 2. For example, 5, 6, 8, 9, 1. This number is not divisible by 2 because its unit digit is not 0, 2, 4, 6 and 8. Okay. If a number unit digit is 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, then that number is divisible by 2. Otherwise, it is not divisible by 2. Now, we will see the divisibility by 3. So, a number is divisible by 3 only when the sum of its, digit, sum of its digits is divisible by 3. Okay? So, a number is divisible by 3 only when sum of its digits is divisible by 3. Okay. So, for example, let's consider 6, 9, 5, 4, 2, 1. Okay. So, the sum of digits of this number is 6 plus 5, 6 plus 9 is 15, 15 plus 5, 20, 24, 26, 27. Okay, and the 27 is divided by 3. Obviously, we get reminder 0 here. So, that means here the sum of digits that is 27 is divisible by 3. That means this number is also divisible by 3. So, what is the divisibility rule of 3? If the sum of digits of a given number is divisible by 3, then that number is also divisible by 3. So, that is the divisibility by 3. Now, let's see divisibility by 9. Okay. So, this is also same as divisibility by 3. If sum of its digits is divisible by 9, so then that number is divisible by 9. 9. Okay. So, sum of the digits of a given number is divisible by 9. Then that number is also divisible by 9. Let's see. So, let's take the same number. 6, 9, 5, 4, 2, 1. The sum of its num sum of its digits is 27. So, this 27 is divisible by 9. Obviously, we are getting reminder 0. So, that's why this number is divisible by 9. Okay. I hope you understand this. So, the divisibility by 9 rule is if the sum of digits of given number is divisible by 9, then that number is also divisible by 9. Okay. Let's see. Next, divisibility by 4. If given numbers last two digits is divisible by 4, then that number is divisible by 4. Okay. For example, consider 76. Okay. The last two digits of this number is 76 itself and it is divisible by 4. Why? Because the 76 is divisible by 4. Now let's take another number. So that is 4, 9, 6, 1, 
3, 8. So now we will check this number is divisible by 4 or not. To check that one, what we will take? We will take the last two digits that is 38 and then we will check it is divisible by 4 or not. Okay. So this 38 is not divisible by 4. So that means the 4, 9, 6 and 1, 3, 8 is not divisible by 4. Okay. Let's take another example. 6, 8, 7, 9, 3, 7, 6. So the, how to check this number is divisible by 4 or not? So we take the last two digits that is 76 and then we check this number is divisible by 4 or not. So this number is divisible by 4. We get 19 or we get reminder 0 here. The 76 is divided by 4. That means this whole number that is 6, 8, 7, 9, 3, 6, 7 is divisible by 4. So I will repeat everything one more time. The divisibility by 2. If last digit, I mean the unit digit of a given number is 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, then that number is divisible by 2. Divisibility by 3. So if the sum of digits of a given number is divisible by 3, then that number is divisible by 3. Next, divisibility by 9. So this is also same as divisibility by 3. If the sum of digits of a given number is divisible by 9, then that number is also divisible by 9. Divisibility by 4. If the last two digits, that is unit digits and tens digits, is divided by 4, then that whole number is also divided by 4. Next, divisibility by 5. If units digits of a given number is 5 or 0, okay. If the unit digits of a given number is 5 or 0, then that number is divisible by 5. For example, take 10. The unit digit of this number is 0. So this one is divisible by 5. Let's take 125. The unit digit of this number is 5. So it is divisible by 5. And next take 121. So the unit digit of this number is 1 which is not neither 5 or neither 0. That's why this number is not divisible by 5. So next divisibility by H. Okay. If given numbers If given numbers 100 digits, 10th digit and unit digit, okay, those digits are divisible by 8, I mean the 3 digits, the last 3 digits are divisible by 8, then that number is divisible by 8. Okay, let's consider a number called 9352. Okay, let's consider a number 9352. We will check this number is divisible by 8 or not. So, to check divisibility by 8 or not, we consider the last 3 digits, that is 352, and then we will check that number is divisible by 8 or not. So, 352 by 8, okay, and 4, 4, 44. So, that means 352 is divisible by 8. That means the last 3 digits are divisible by 8. That means 9352 is divisible by H. So now divisibility by 10. If unit digit is 0, so that number is divisible by 10. It is very simple. So 10, 200, 100, 10,000, 
so the unit digit of these numbers are zero so these all numbers are divided by 10 so very important this one divisibility by 10 11 so ye number is divisible by 11 when it's sum it's the difference between the sum of even digits and odd digit is divisible by 11 or 0 okay so a number is divisible by 11 if the difference of the sum of even digits minus the sum of odd digits odd places digits is equal to 0 or multiple of 11 okay so let's consider a number 29435417 okay so the even places digits are 2 4 5 1 okay so the odd places digits are sorry 9 3 4 7 okay let's find the sum of even place digits that one is 2 plus 4 plus 5 plus 1 okay minus 9 plus 5 sorry 9 plus 3 plus 4 plus 7 so 2 plus 6 5 12 minus 9 plus 3 12 16 23 so we are getting minus 11 okay so we have to take the modulus of that number and then we are getting 11 so this 11 is divisible by 11 that means this number is 29435417 is divisible by 11 so what is the divisibility by 11 rule okay we have to take the sum of the numbers which are in odd places okay and then we have to take the sum of the numbers which are in even places okay then we have to find the difference if the difference is zero or multiple of 11 then that number is divisible by 11 so thank you very much for watching this video i hope you understand all these concepts if you have any doubt please leave a comment and please subscribe to my channel